Hello and welcome to episode 146 of the Boot Nerds Podcast. Jay Mike, what's going on? Ah, oh, my friend, I just got with Raf Su. Yeah, exactly. Um, so as you can hear, it's going pretty well. Uh, I just got back from the pitch. That's what I tried to say, uh, which is always good. I mean, being on the pitch is always fun. So I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Uh, as you know, lots of stuff dropping, as in lots of stuff yeah. dropping these days. Um, so busy times at Unisport. I guess the same with you. How are you doing? Ah, all right. I've, uh, I've just been watching Erling Holland single-handedly just destroy you. Why? From afar. Why, why are we... Between why are we between, between the league and then the Champions League. It's just... Uh, it's just, yeah, it's like, unbelievable. So he, he, he tore my, my team, my favorite team, to pieces. And then he came, you know... Copenhagen came, which was my old right city, to, yeah. and they just whipped their asses too. I mean, what is going on? Uh, Show some what, mercy. What a machine of a man that guy is. Oh my God. And he's 22. He's it's unbelievable. 22. It's so cool um, to see. I think, yeah, I think if we're ever looking at someone breaking uh, that messy a record he set a couple of years, but it's not a couple of years back, many years back, when he scored like what, 93, 94 goals in a calendar mm -hmm. year? I think yeah. Holland might be the the only potential player I can think of right now who can beat that. I mean, it's... Yeah, I think I saw some stats on Instagram. And of course, it's Instagram posts, so it's never verified in any way. But apparently, he's on pace to, yeah. to at least come close. Yeah. It, uh, and Which I is mean, crazy. Didn't start the year very well because of injuries in Dortmund. But it seems like with the physio team at Manchester City, uh, his injuries are a thing of the past, which is uh, frightening. So, yeah. and you can imagine, you know, being a Manchester United fan, having, ha having seen him when he played for, um, uh, was it Molde he played for, uh, in Norway. And then he came to, uh, to Salzburg and people were talking about him then. And then he went to uh, Dortmund. People were talking about him then. And, you know, back then we had Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as manager who, who used to manage him in Norway. And everyone mm -hmm. thought like, yeah, man. This, this player is in the back. It's going to be exciting. And then he goes to the rivals and he just kills it there, man. Oh my, it feels so bad. <laughs> feels and so for, bad. And for realistically, like nowhere near as much as they should have paid for. No, him. no, no. Which is crazy. Which is crazy. So, uh, so yeah, well done, City. Well done, Holland. Um, I hope he's going to be the type of player that stays like three or four years at one team and then just moves on. Because, yeah. <laughs> I, can't, yeah. I can't take another Sergio Aguero, who was also, you know, United players or fans were talking about him back then when he played for Atletico. And, and then he went to City and just tore the league to pieces. So, uh, yeah. 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 Meanwhile, we're not doing well in the transfer. So hey, great, great. It's, it's it's been going great. It's been going great. Sorry, I didn't mean I didn't mean to open up a wound there. Oh but. yeah, and I just said I just said in the last podcast that things were going well for United and blah blah blah. You know, <laughs> but um, but hey, it was a it was a valuable lesson, and I think you know, it's it's he's in the building phase, Eric Ten Hag. So, so yeah. Mm -hmm. But enough about my uh, football supporting woes. Um, <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk launches, right? Um, first things first. I went to Monte Belluna. Mm hmm Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, have you have you had the boots in hand yet? Not yet. I <laughs> feel like I say this in every Oh, they're on the way. Episode. Oh, they're on the way. They might be here today. They might be here tomorrow, but I'm All expecting right. them very soon. We'll talk about them in, in next week's episode. Um, but I just want to. I, I just want to get your reaction to to a couple of the World Cup packs uh, from Adidas and Puma. Which mm -hmm. do you want to start with? Let's start with the Adi Alarila pack. And which, I think that's actually the wrong way to pronounce it. Uh, I said Alarila as well when we dropped the ball, and people were on to me. So I think it's somewhere along the lines of Alrichla. But if there are any Arab speaking people watching, uh, let us know in the comment section how to actually say Arila, Rihla, Rihla, whatever. I don't um, know. I, no. I don't say anything right on the internet according to people. No. <laughs> um it is it is what it is. Anyways, um the new Adidas World Cup pack, let's call it that. Um yeah, here it is. What do you what do you what do you think, Josh? You know, I like I like the graphics package. Like I like the idea of the stripes kind of across the four foot toe box area on on all the boots. I think it looks cool. 
Um, do I love the coloring? I, I understand matching the ball, but it's just, it's, it's maybe not my cup of tea. Um, in, in terms of just being a little bit like they're going for the rainbow thing. And that's not, I just, I've never been into rainbow boots. No. And I, I, you know, it's a cool, it's a cool story. And I think it's cool that they do it. Just taking a stand against a guitar and there, you know, like you got to watch what you say on the internet, but, but I necessarily don't agree with, with, with their, uh, view on, on human beings in general. Um, so I think that it's cool added as a taking a stand against that rainbow colors. We all know what it means. Um, cool. Like I, I love that. And uh, you know, not sure I love the execution either. Um, I, 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 I get it. I get why they've done it, but it's not really, it hasn't grown on me yet. So I love the story and I love the sentiment. I love the fact that we will have, you know, the rainbow colors all over the pitch in Qatar. Very nice. Um, but I don't necessarily think it, you know, it doesn't look that cool to me. It's, it doesn't strike me as a World Cup colorway. No. If, if that makes like, is it, is it fair to say that it's not special enough? It just, it kind of, like if you took away the stripes where they are on all of these boots, then, then, then what's really that special about them? I, I don't know. But, but, but if it's me, I would probably rather have just had the stripes and maybe emphasize the stripes, made them bigger. In, instead of all this, you know, I understand that it's the same pattern as we see on the ball and cool and stuff, but mm -hmm. I think the stripes are really impactful, but maybe that's also the, the, the part I like the most. Um, and I'm not really sure about the colorway on the XP portal. Um, don't really think it's, it's not my cup of tea, as you would say. Uh, yeah. I think, I think the Copa actually works reasonably well. If you've, if you've taken away all this stuff, uh, I, I think the, the, the tooling looks pretty cool. Uh, I like the stripes. It's a little bit weird that it doesn't match the, the wavy uh, uh, deep boss things on the upper, uh -huh. but but I think it works. You know, black base with the with the rainbow colors on looks cool. Preds for me are the best. Um, I think it actually works. The whole stripes going all the way over the boots. It actually looks really cool to me. Yeah, I think it the graphics definitely look the most normal on the Preds. And I think that's because the stripes are kind of in line with the laceless system. So it looks like it was meant to be like that. Yeah, yeah. Where the other two more, more or less look like an afterthought. I like the black base of the Copa. So for me, I think that visually ends up being the coolest looking one. Um, but yeah, I think I think in terms of taking that graphic and making it look like it was meant to be, it looks the best on the Preds. I agree. I agree. And it's just a shame that the Pred, for me, at least the silo, us, that's not the silo, the silhouette is called English, um, is, is not... I mean, on a, on a cooler silhouette, I think this design could have looked very, very good. Um, but I still yeah. think it's it's the strongest bunch. So it's it's hard for me to be excited about these boots. I've been over the last two weeks or so with all the new speed boots coming out from all the other brands, and now that we kind of have all the new releases of 2022 out there on the table, I've I've been labeled as a bit of an an Addy hater, and <laughs> I I just. It's hard for me to get excited about boots that I think are in some cases mediocre and in some cases just simply not good. But, but let's let's be real here for a second, Josh. Um, Addy are not in the best place right now. I mean, no. th there's definitely room to to fix stuff and, and you know, uh, things will get better, right? But I'm sure they will. But, they can but, only get better. They can't get worse. <laughs> I mean, I, I think they can, but, uh, but, but still, you know, they're not, they're not in the best place right now. They went from, from, you know, the Preds were really good. Um, Mutator Streaks were really good. Edge, not my cup of tea at least. Um, and I think there's, there's a wide agreement that it's not the best. It's a little bit of the modern X, right? Um, mm -hmm. Speed Portal for me, still a solid boot, but a step down from, uh, from the Speed Flows. And, and the Sense was also just like a step down from, um, from the twenties and nineteens, so so I think, yeah, not not the not the strongest lineup they've had uh, recently, Addy. So so yeah. No, but I, I think but the hater. At the very yeah, I, I'm a hater. That's just how that's how the internet likes to label me. I just feel like if you've tried 
any other competing models in any of these three categories, I don't think most people would, would be picking something with three stripes on it. I agree. I just don't. I agree. Honestly. The um, boots, I, I think it's a, I think overall it'll stand out as a world cup pack because of how colorful and vibrant it is. And the colors will inevitably be a story. And, so. it, and, and it's a, and it's a good story. And I would almost say that I can, I can live with the design, not fitting my taste uh, just because the story is so cool. And I think it's an important message to send. So, so, you know, uh, would I rather have had something that I think is visually striking, but without the story? No, I think it's a, it's a very powerful stat and, and, and good job, fair play, Addy, for, for doing this. I think it's it's brave, and, but it's also the right thing to do. So I really I, I really like that. Okay. Then, there's, then there's Puma. Uh, there are no rainbows on, on these, but, uh, but they really look like a World Cup pack. And I think they look very, very good. So we've got the future here. Um, red and this, uh, I don't know what that is. Is that a like a yellowy lime color or something? It's not exactly yellow. It's it it, it can look gold under the right light. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's just like this greenish yellow. Um, but just a really really strong look. I think. Yeah, I love those. I think that's such a cool red boots in general. Pretty underrated, and it's a good red. That, like those are sick. I'm sorry. Yeah, I yeah. love how that looks. Yeah, that really reminds me of the uh, Ferraris. The Ferrari yeah, ones. I don't remember the name because it had a specific the uh, the V eight one eight one five or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, it, it, phenomenal, phenomenal. Uh, this little pattern here, the gradient pattern on the on the toe box, the foam strip it, is there. You know, it just it just works. And they're dirty. I'm sorry. Uh, I just wore them, but. I think it just, it looks fast. It looks, yeah, it looks like those Ferraris. Um, very, very cool. So yeah, I think it's it's a super, super strong colorway. Very simple, but with lots of little details on it. Um, and I, li I like the boots. I think they're, 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 they're great boots all over. So that's super, super powerful. Super powerful. Yeah, I like that a lot. And I like the idea of when you do a tournament pack that you make all your lines. Obviously Puma only has two lines for pros. But when you make them one solid color and the same across the board, it stands out when you have a lot of players with within the Puma brand yeah. as all wearing something that looks visually similar because yeah. you, you tend to notice that. Exactly. And that's probably what I would have gone for with the Addy boots as well. Like go with, let's say, the Copa color scheme on all three boots and maybe it would yeah. have been a little bit more impactful. I don't know. I don't know. There's probably a reason why I'm not the color designer for Addy and someone is making a lot of money doing that instead of me. Sure. So, um, so yeah, but I really like the Puma pack and I really like the story behind the, uh, the Addy pack. Um, but now that we are such experts on <laughs> looks and colorways and designs, um, people have been asking uh, whether we're going to do, now that they're finally out, uh, new Nike by U boots uh, on the new material. And we thought, you know what? Why not? So, um, so I mean, we've we've cheated a little bit. We've already taken a look at it, and we also talked about like there's a little bit of pressure going in to build a pair of boots in what like 15, 20 minutes, and then just that's it. Those are the boots you're gonna buy. Um, yeah. So, what do you say we go over the options today and we talk people through them, give ideas, inspiration, and then we we actually do our homework. And, and make the boots that we could talk about in a couple of episodes time when they arrive. Mm -hmm. That's okay. what I would like to do. I think that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, because otherwise, I mean, I know my design would be on point, but otherwise you can end up with something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's not uh, out. You can, you can make something really cool on this, but you can also make something that, at least in my book, is really uncool. Um, it, yeah, there are more options than I think there's ever been for a pair of custom mercurials. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just going to open up my uh, screen recorder here so we can actually record my screen and um, see what is going on. Ah, right, right, right. We are just going to uh, capture your entire screen. Nice. And um, I took a photo. I am absolutely brilliant at this, aren't I? You're, you're doing great, Jay. Thank you. You're doing great. 
Um, it's been a while since I've done this, to be honest. Um, screen recording. Um, no, let me go on entire screen. Capture Why have <laughs> I forgotten how to do video? Um, record. Nice. Now we're recording. You got it. Great. All right. I'm going to cut this out. Stupid. Um, <laughs> so anyways, Josh, if you go into, I've selected the Mercurial Superfly Elite FG by you. Um, if okay. you click, if you click onto that, uh, you will see this, um, this stock, a uh, vault purple starry design as mm -hmm. inspiration, right? Yes. Okay. And you get a couple of uh, different uh, designs as inspiration. You get this uh, blue, red, starry design. You get this, whatever this orange, is that teal, blue? That's wild. Uh, oh, this is cool. Black, chrome, gold, a little bit of yeah, those look sparkling. Awesome. Yeah. I might just take those. Can I, can I, is sick. that cheating? Can I just take those? <laughs> 10 out of 10? Those look sick. They, I, that's exactly the type of thing I would want. Mate, they're awesome. They are awesome. With that gold outline, that silvery chrome. And, wow. Yeah, those look Take great. Take a bow. And then this uh, white, red, black uh, option. I'll be honest. I don't like I don't like any of them besides the, the black. Uh, so let's go in and customize them. See what we can do. Uh, I've chosen the black. Uh, the black one. Uh, so okay. color, what do we have here? And you're, you're following what I do, right? I am. Cool. So for color, you are black, uh, white, razor blue, university red, desert berry, okay. Pink blast, that is very pink, and vault. Um, yeah, let's just try desert berry is kind of the only wild card there. I have no idea what that would be. No. Uh, it looks like a very neutral kind of pink color. Right. Um, I've chosen the Desert Berry just because. Upper, see, that's going to be interesting. There's black, white, wolf gray. Okay. That oh, wolf gray looks interesting with those gold and chrome accents. Hyper Raw, University Red. We know that. Viotech. Okay. Desert Berry. Hmm. Border Blue. Okay. Vivid Purple. Total Orange. Also very cool, actually. Uh, and Vault. Okay. Three slightly different shades of purple. Yeah. They like their purple. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Um, which color do you reckon we should go with here? Uh, that's a great question. What about I, the... I mean, I, I'd like to pick something different. Uh-huh. Uh, let's, let's go for Border Blue, I guess, from Border here. Border Blue? Okay. Or Wolf Gray. What are you thinking? I think, I think Wolf Gray looks a little bit better than Border Blue. Okay, let's go Wolf Gray. Um... Okay, upper graphics. So this is interesting. So you can now have a graphic on the upper. Um, right now we have selected the 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 stars. Maybe we should actually choose the um, the graphics themselves. Uh, right. A, you can, a stadium graphic. Yeah, that is. Which is stars. So you can have black stars. You can have all of that. You can have. Stadium, yeah, that's stars. All I'm so of, confused by these graphic names. How is stadium is stars I don't know. and stars is yeah, I, also stars. Uh, also <laughs> stars. Uh, it looks like paint splatter. You know what I thought when I when I saw the stadium stars? Uh, I thought Champions League, and that yeah, Champions so League I. stadium. What do you say we go with like a uh, metallic silver stadium or? Um, like metallic gold stars. Yes, I really like the stars. The metallic silver stadium is pretty cool. Yeah, let's go with on those. the wolf gray. Yeah, let's okay, go. let's do that let's for go now. With that. Let's go with that. Uh, right, you swoosh outline and accents. Okay, so the outline can be like uh, that's that's on the right shoe, which is cool. So you can both do different left and right here. Uh, very nice. Hyper Royal University Red Biotech does berry. Border blue, vivid purple, all the, the colors basically. And of course, metallic silver and metallic gold. I love this metallic silver, metallic gold thing, but let's try and mix it up a little bit. Um, hmm. I like it in black, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. And it changes not just the outline, it changes the air zoom stripe graphic on the toe as well. And actually, it also changes the, um, the, uh, the, the, the outline around air. 
Oh, on the, it does uh, too. The and the stripe on the back of the heel. That is true. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay, let's go with that. That actually looks pretty classy. Now, on the okay. left shoe. Le left swoosh outline. Do we just go black on both sides we can for also, now? We can also go white just to mix it up a little bit. Okay, let's do white. Let's do a mismatch. A mismatch. I know for one, I'm, I'm going to do a mismatch, and it's going to be really cool. Um, <laughs> and it's going to be way over the top. It's going to be way over the top. Right shoe swoosh logos. Okay. So you can do like solid colors um, only here. Um, you can do everything we just saw. What do you reckon? Total orange, maybe a little bit desert berry. Does that look good? Nah. Does metallic silver look good? No. Yeah, metallic silver looks good. Does metallic gold look good? Metallic gold looks good. It does. Why this gold? I'm so partial towards gold and silver. I know. I also I also like the white. The white also looks pretty cool. Um, I, there's also, I think the desert berry also looks pretty uh, pretty cool. Um, let's go with white. Let's go with white. White, okay. Yeah, let's do it. Just um, then we have the right shoe swoosh graphic. Okay, wolf gray stars. Oh man, you can do a lot. <laughs> oh wow! Wow. Okay, so you can do the the sparkles, basically the stars, and then you can do the stadium here. Should we match the um? Should we match the the swoosh graphic to the boot graphic? with like a metallic silver or should we go metallic gold in the swoosh? What do you think? Let's let's go gold. Metallic gold stadium. Mm -hmm. Done. Let's do that. It's done. Let's do it. Uh, right, right, right. Uh, left shoe swoosh logos. So same thing. Should we mismatch a bit here and go, oh, that's the swoosh color itself. Um, what do you want to do here? Uh... Does it make sense to just like reverse them? Yes, it's black. Yeah. It does indeed. Let's do uh, that. Left shoe switch graphic. Should that also be like should metallic gold? Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I think so. Yeah. I think that makes sense. It's definitely way, way too much this and, and so over the top. But uh, there is a lot to pick. There is a lot to pick. Uh right. It's shoe. hard to follow. Yeah. Right shoe lace. Okay. Um it's weird that there's no SR4U laces.com option. That is pretty stupid, Nike. What are you, what are you <laughs> imagine? Really strange. Imagine if you landed that deal so they could go and choose like <laughs> SR4U or Nike by you. That would be <laughs> you'd be you'd be done. You'd be minted. Don't have to do anything for the rest of your life. What do you reckon? Just black laces? Black laces are cool. Always oh, black laces. I've taken black laces. Just, just black laces. Okay, let's do black for now. On the right shoe. On the right shoe. What do you do on the when you do on the left? You're the lace master here. Uh, I'm partial towards the look of just the desert berry to match yep. the exposed fly knit. Uh huh. I think that looks okay. It does. I'm wondering right now. I'm kind of questioning what we have, but that volt sole plate. I think once we change that, it could all come together. Yeah. You have okay, a volt sole plate. I'm gonna go desert berry. Okay, you have a volt sole plate. I have a uh, I have a gold gold sole plate. Oh yeah, I think I started with a slightly different one. My uh, bad. Oh okay, fair enough. Uh, desert berry gold. definitely looks cool enough. That's solid, but you can also have metallic. You can have iridescent chrome, just like basically the launch colorway. That is going to be wow, and you can have that in AG as well. <gasps> Whoa, metallic yeah, old chrome cool. AG. Oh, that is solid. And SG Pro. Wow, you can't have. That is cool. That that is cool. That white solid looks well classy. University red solid. Desert berry a little bit boring. Total orange, but the vault. Imagine, yeah, vault doesn't look great with desert berry on the sock, but I reckon it would look. Hmm. I don't know what. I I quite like the look of just the silver soul plate. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. That's cool. Yeah. I think I think iridescent chrome would look cool. It just doesn't come across well no. in, in the customizer. I think this is this is pretty this is pretty good. Uh, airbag. Oh, we can also customize the airbag. Desert berry, right? Which consists of the air. Oh, just what you can see on the bottom yeah. of the soul plate. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess it would make sense to go desert berry. Yeah. Let's go that desert berry. And what's the last thing? Personalization. Personalization. Not, not available. Not available. Okay. What the heck? Well. That's weird for Nike ID. Cool, guys. Um, That's half the fun. But I guess this is cool. Um, Would I wear this? Probably not, I'll be honest. But, uh, but yeah. <laughs> Probably not. But yeah. There I mean, uh, there's way too many decisions to make here. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah. And I mean, the, I, I probably have gone for like the star splatter graphics instead of the stadium stars, but it does look cool. It does. Uh, well, it does. It It's special. Let's, let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. It's, it's very special. Done. Okay. So now we have that. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna go for that black gold, uh, chrome boot instead. That is, yeah, I love, that is that's such an undefeatable combo. It is. It is. And with a like a, a, a purple airbag and stuff, that is good. That is way better than ours. Um, but here's the thing, guys. So uh, obviously we are going to make a pair of boots each. Um, we're not going to do it on camera because clearly, our, you know, instant decision making is not the best as you can see on the screen. It's not a bad looking pair of boots, but I reckon that we can both, even you, Josh, can bo uh, can do better. Uh, even me. After all, I am a certified uh, boot designer, you know. You are. I, I have no qualifications other than just making Joma themed super flies. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's challenge you this year and say that you cannot do a Joma themed super fly. I, I promise not to do that. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, but we're gonna do that, and obviously, when they arrive, we're gonna we're gonna do a recap and rate each other's boots. Uh, but we'd also love to see your designs. We've done it, I think, a couple of times before, where you sent your designs in, and we uh, rate and slate them. It's mostly rating because they've been pretty good, actually. So go uh, outdo us. Make some cool mercurial designs. It could be Superfly. It can be Vapor. It can also be like the other Nike boots. I think it's only the Phantom that's on there as well, right? Uh, show us how it's done. Yes. Show us how it's done. So, so send your designs into the uh, email that will be in the comments and the description as well. And we can take it from there. Oh my gosh. What? Go, Jay, go just really quickly. Just do that like pink paint splatter uh -huh. on, on the upper and then go black. On our design? Look at that. Um, that is crazy. Pink paint splatter. Uh, so the, hyper pink stars. The hyper pink stars, and then do a black upper. Look at that. Uh, with black sock as well. Yeah. And then I did the same Whoa. color inside the swoosh. Isn't that cool? That's pretty wicked. That that is pretty that is so wicked, cool. That I mean, I, you like know what? You know what I do like about this too. If you go with like a black, if you match the color of the upper to the what's inside the graphics, mm -hmm. it kind of hides all the graphics, yeah. which is neat. Yeah. So if you if you particularly hate the giant air logo, which I know a lot of people do, you can cover it up pretty well. Yeah, uh, that's, that's a good point. That's actually a pretty good point. Wow. Well, I mean, it also calls for like, just like blackouts, whiteouts, red outs uh, would be cool too. Um, but let's, let's, let's see where we end up. I mean, that's a bit of homework for us, but I, um, I actually like that. Let me just go and stop the recording. Um, nice, nice. Got to remember to save that. Imagine if man deleted it now, that would be hilarious. Um, <laughs> save as, uh, do not delete me. Cause my, <laughs> cause my, my file naming system is just like, uh, Perfect. Yeah, uh, I can't go wrong with that. Oh, man. Um, anyways, um, so I actually expected this to take a little longer than um, than it did. So I thought we actually wouldn't have time to answer some questions. But it seems that we do, Josh. I haven't prepared any. So let me just go on okay. to the comment section and, um, and find some. While I do that... Uh, Tell me whatever's on your mind, football boot wise. Tell me about the um, Chembo Legend Nines made in Italy. Oh, I well, yeah. You, you didn't even let me share an opinion on those. No, I'm sorry. Um, I I think that's we're talking about good looking and bad looking okay. football boots in this episode. That, in my opinion, 
is probably the best looking football boot of 2022. Um, I just, the white and blue combo is so nice. And I know they're going to get dirty really easily. I, I get that. But there's just something about white leather boots and that royal blue that they've gone for is just perfect. It it reminds me of a legend, the legends, the, the OG. Was it a legend one or two in that colorway? Uh, that is, there's at least a one in that colorway. And it's, it was a one. that's actually the point. Uh, it's inspired by Pelos World Cup boots from 2006 that he wore when they won. Which, I don't know. To me, that's just aesthetically top three best looking football boots of the year. I agree. I agree. It, it, especially when you have that cheeky little JM personalization on the on the back that was made in Montebluna. I'm totally showing off, but <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, nah, it's, it's, it's a great pair of football boots. And I think, I think you'll find them really, really nice. Uh, I just had to break them in for like 45 minutes. And, and it went from mm-hmm. being, you know, nice. I have super high expectations. You know, Hyperman MGX is some of the best fitting boots that I can think of, most comfortable fitting boots, uh, at least. And and the leather for me is not is not as soft out of the box, but just give it 45 minutes to an hour. And it softens up so well. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if it's a liner or whatever it is that 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 hardens it up a little bit, but give it time and it it's, it's wonderful. It is wonderful. Mm-hmm. And it just... It smells right. It feels right. Allegria, untreated leather in, in general, is just lovely. Yeah, they they are pretty football boots. They have Nike's done Montebelluna boots before, but I think these have more of that handmade, custom look, more so than just about anything else. Yep. Um, I, I think the last boot to have that impact was the. Toti Legend Fives, the black ones with the silver tongue, uh-huh, the uh-huh. chrome tongue. You don't, you don't. Those had a very custom feel to them. Yeah, more so than the Hypervenom GXs. You think? Yeah, I didn't think the Hypervenom. I wasn't overly blown away by Hypervenom GX. Oh, really? I gotta be honest. Oh, I love. Them. I thought they're good boots, but like I didn't think it still looked very much like a modern engineered type of upper. This looks mm. like handcrafted. It, you know, it does the stitchings help a lot in that? And, and the fact they took mm-hmm. away the, the the touch pots, yeah, which is cool. I, I've just I, that, that's such a pure pair of football boots. I, I agree, I agree. So um, let's see how you feel when they when they come in the mail. Hopefully later today, as in the day we're <laughs> recording this. Um, of course. Uh, last of my kind aid. You guys should make the Nike ID segment interesting by designing each other's boots. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm ready for that. Uh, I'm not ready for that. You, I'm, I'm, yeah, you're not ready to have. It'd be it'd be a shame for the nicest boots in your collection to be dined, designed by me. <laughs> that that would be for such an established boot designer. That would just that would suck. <laughs> just imagine, you know, you have the barber shops and the city packs and the uh, whatever else have we done? That's really uh, we did something before. Anyways. Um, <laughs> I've done so many now. It's ridiculous. Um, it's been a couple, yeah. It's been a couple. More to come, by the way. But uh, yeah, you know, sat there in a, in a nice line. The memory lanes, obviously. Um, and then there's there's the coolest of the bunch is, is Josh's design. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine. That's the ultimate cover, out, eh? Um, and they're just solid pink. <laughs> 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 oh man, it's a good it's a good idea. Uh, let's see if these turn out really well. Maybe there's a round two where we do it for each other. Um, yeah, we'll see. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna totally do you. I'm not gonna make a nice boot. I'm just you know head, <laughs> heads up heads up. Um, so so that's a fun one. Uh, um, Luca Natale. Honestly, I have a weird feeling that these big brands purposely include crappy models ever so often to keep people interested. It's probably not sustainable for them to constantly keep improving and improving from model to model. So toss in an average one with great marketing and it buys you time to innovate something new. And when you drop the better model after it's even more impressive because it's coming off a crappy predecessor. It makes no sense for Adidas to not know how bad their boots are. That's a hot take. And you know, I, I, um, I actually, it makes sense. I can tell you it's not like that, but it makes sense. I see, yeah. I, I see why he'd say that. <laughs> I think it, it makes sense in that, 
yeah, people are going to be v- more excited about the next gen of X than they would have been had the speed portal been amazing again. Uh-huh. But at the same time, I also feel like you probably get a lot of people jumping ship from Adidas X this year and going into something else. And you're losing customers at that point. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, as much as the vast majority of consumers don't seek reviews of products, like we are the people that watch the Boot Nerds podcast and even our channels, I think it's it's still the minority of consumers oh, absolutely. in the grand scheme of yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. But I still think that better products that fit better, perform better, feel better, more comfortable, they tend to sell better. Don't and don't you think like um obviously Addy have had a, a, a pretty good good year with with Speedflow. Uh and now again Speed Portal is not bad. It's just in my book at least, and I think you agree, is not as good as Speedflow was. But but don't you think that for Nike, at least coming off of three super, super strong generations of materials, arguably the best generations of material ever. Most uh-huh. generally appealing generations of material ever, at least. Uh, don't you think that makes the brand loyalty stronger? I mean, you get these people that just say, no, I only wear Nike, or no, I only wear Addy. Um, I mean, if you could, if you can build that with the customers, then then you're onto something because then they just blindly buy the next boot when it comes out. Obviously, not you and me, not people watching this channel because they're too well informed to just go out and blindly buy something. They want to know if it's good or not. But I think it's just I I understand where where, where Luke is going, but I I think it's too big of a risk because what if the boot that's supposed to be the savior also doesn't hit home with the consumer. You never know. Yeah. I, I just, I, I just think that sales are ultimately the driving force for any of these companies. Sure. There's, there's no sense in spending all this money on development and marketing and, and putting out a product that at the end of the day, nobody wants to buy. And I think that's more or less been reflected in the launch of X speed portal in contrast to Nike Mercurial. Nike puts out the the white boots with the big air logo and they're on pre-order for forever, which is not ideal. Um, but they sold out. Not, not if you bought them from and Unisport. Not, not if you bought them from Unisport. Unisport had them right away. But so, some places were, I think some people have ordered those and still haven't received them depending on where they ordered them from. I'll, I'll be honest, but, I'll be honest. That's their own fault because you didn't buy from Unisport. Well, okay, fair enough. We don't ship to the US. So that's okay. My bad. But now- Forget everything. Sorry about that. Yeah. Shameless plug. I just think that uh, you look at whether it's the green that didn't appeal to people, I don't really know. But the, the fact that I'm seeing the launch colorway of Speed Portal already being discounted, that's typically not a good sign. No. No. And it's just, you know, the, 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 there was just a way of, of, you know, overwhelming positivity when the speed flows came out. It was just like people were like, wow, these are amazing. And obviously we we talked about this for so long that obviously Adidas had made, again, in my book, one of the best speed boots they'd ever done. And, and that was, you know, it was always going to be hard following that. We knew that, but but it just like, it just felt a little bit uh, when, when the, when the portal. Here's, here's a hot take. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea for a brand to intentionally make something bad. No. And I think I've spoken, we've both probably spoken against when new boots come out with new names and new features, when in reality, they're virtually the same as what they did before. Nothing's really changed. I feel like Adidas would have been better off effectively re-releasing speed flow with the most minor changes possible new graphics package, new colors. If, if they would have sold but, better. But you know, what, but you know what, what, what would stop that from happening? I don't know this. I'm just assuming. It's the World Cup. Um, I, th- yeah. I think they, they knew, they probably knew well before they released the Pret that it wasn't the strongest. I mean, they must have known. They had to do it and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. But they must have known that it wasn't the best. I mean, look at it. Um, but but you know, DX is their strongest franchise right now. Speed boots, right? Mm-hmm. They came off such an amazing product in the in the speed flows, uh, and and they you know 
imagine if they had, you know, if the speed portals had been better than the speed flows leading up to the World Cup. I mean, it would have it would have gone nuts. So they just kind of, mm-hmm. they, they kind I I see where you're going, and I would have loved this, like uh, X eighteen point one to nineteen point one. Just a, r- yeah. a few little tweaks, you know, a little bit more structure yeah. to that upper on the uh, the speed floor point once we would have been on to a winner. Or, or, or just release the F50 Addy 2014 upper on the XP flow tooling as an inline boot and uh, be done with it. An, yeah. You know, it would have been make enough. a reference eight years back in time. It was so good. Here it is. Slight update. Boom, boom, shake the room. Yeah. I just, I don't understand the reluctance from them to give us what is doing so well for them in all of these remakes as an inline model. It, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Because there would always and, be people like you and me then calling them out for lack of innovation. Oh, you don't have but, anything. There will always be people like that. And we might be, you know, let's be honest. We would have said that. Huh. But I think, I, I think innovation is only worth talking about when it's better than what else is also available. And I think if you put out a 2014 F50 upper on a speed portal or speed flow sole plate, you end up with a product that in comparison to the current competition is as good, if not better, depending on what you're looking Hmm. for. Innovation and new technology and new concepts and ideas. It's, it's only as valuable as, as what your alternatives are. And that, to me, the longer I do this, that's that's more and more how I'm forming my opinion. A, a football boot can be objectively really good, but if you can get something that is even better from another brand that kind of falls into the same fit, feel, and general category, why on earth would you buy the inferior product even if it's okay? And that's the problem. And that's, and that's the problem I feel with the football boot market in general right now. Don't get me wrong. I love football boots. I love every new single release that comes out. It's exciting, right? But mm-hmm. I think we've just seen uh, the, you know, the focus on innovation, on hype, on, you know, limited boots, um, on, 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 you know, disruptions, all that stuff. It's just, it's just gone too far. And I think it's, it's, it, it, it works, the focus on innovation. We always got to tell the innovation story. We always got to create that hype. How do we do that? Well, they have to be really creative these days. And, and oftentimes, you know, it's just the most effective releasing a new generation of something, especially if the previous generation was really good. So I, I see what you're saying and I actually agree. I just don't see, you know, with how the market works right now, with how the consumers think, with how you and I and other boot reviewers uh, what we expect. I don't think that there's much they could do. I mean, they could have made a product that was better than speed flows, but that's a tall order. No, innovation is is an overused way of, dis- it's an overused word in the description of new football mm. boots these mm. days. Because like realistically, Jay, in 2022, we've had a bunch of amazing football boots, uh, quite a few mediocre ones, mm. and some that were just, Pretty questionable. But have any been truly innovative? Huh? One. One. Which, There's been one piece of technology this year, and that's, I think that Zoom unit that Nike put in the Mercs is- We can, I, I'll- That's, I'll, 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 that's innovation. Yeah, fair I can't, we can call that innovation. I've never experienced that in any football boot ever, and it's a positive change. Right. I would say, yeah. Other than that, mm. nothing. I agree. I agree. So it, it's- for, for all of these brands with all of these new models, just making all these bold claims, it's for lack of a better word or way to describe it, it's BS. Like Addy would have been so much better off if they just, I think they did an okay thing with the new sole plate tooling. As much as I really, really disagree with them calling a full length Carbitex insert, because it's realistically hardly any different in size or feel when compared to what they had on Speedflow NX Ghosted, I think that sole plate tooling alone with the same uppers, slightly different graphics package, now you have a football boot that they changed something, took a step sideways, it didn't really improve, there wasn't a lot of place to go for them, but you have a football boot where at the very least, you're not having people who love Speedflow leaving the brand for Mm. Nike or Puma Mm. or... New Balance this year potentially because yeah. they have some really a really strong lineup. I don't know. To me, it's like you, you just it's nine months of of people finding reasons not to play in the three stripes. Yeah, 
No, you're right. You're right. And, and again, new tooling and a slightly modified upper. Hell, I would have. That's I, all you I needed. I would have stocked up on them. Um, definitely. Because um, I, I think I think you need to give us more credit as as content creators as well. As, as much as it's very easy for us to say there's nothing new here, nothing to be excited about, I think we also have to take into consideration that like you can only do so much. Yeah. I don't think we are of the same mindset as a lot of the internet where it's like, oh my God, they're running out of ideas. They're definitely not running out of ideas. It's just how much value do a lot of these new ideas actually have versus what the marketing material would suggest. Mm. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, I agree. I agree, but it's an it's a it's a very it was a very good question. I I, I mean, mm -hmm. because you, you could have you could have thought that you know it was a bigger scheme from the brands to just say mm, let's let's keep the interest alive, let's keep the conjecture going, right? Um, I don't mm -hmm. think it's it's like that. For me, it's bottom line, it's simply too risky, simply too risky. Oh, and also let me just add this in here. Speaking of since we're talking about Speed uh -huh, Portal, because uh -huh. I recently made a video talking about how Speed Portal Plus is the only football boot this year to increase its price. And it increased its price by $5 in the US market. It went from $275 to $280. And I said, there's no reason for that. That is just, that is straight gouging. They didn't increase the price of the point one. They didn't increase the price of the Predators. Why does this have to be $5 more expensive? And I got quite a few comments saying, well, it's inflation. That's not inflation. That's gouging. Five dollars is not affecting their bottom line. I don't care what anybody says. At least not change your prices across the board if it's exactly, inflation. Exactly. That that's my point. But um, very interesting, and we'd love to hear your your take on this in the comments as well. Uh, we just got a, a, a comment from uh, I Cavalier. Cavalier. Sorry about that, butchering names. Uh, Furon V6 <laughs> AG plate is very easy to live with. I wore mine to training on a basic, on a pretty basic Astro surface last week, and they were great. Um, so thank you <laughs> for that mm. uh, for that input. Uh, again, we haven't worn them, so so great to know that they are indeed uh, good. I have. Oh, that's right. yeah, that's right. We talked about that in the previous episode. Yes, um, that's right. Josh Peter, hearing just praises that you both have for. The Tequila V4. How does it compare against the Speed Flow Plus? Because absolutely love the Speed Flow Plus. Um, it's a good question. It's hard to compare, really. It's like compare uh, comparing mm -hmm. apples and 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 pears. Um, you know, I don't really think it's. I would probably more compare the Tequila V4 to the Predator 18 Plus, uh, but a slightly yeah. more accommodating slightly wider fitting 18 plus 18 plus was good i think this might just be that a little bit better uh without all oh, the i think it's i think it's significantly mm, better fair enough. i think it i think it fits better i think the lockdown is better it it's a is, lighter yeah. overall construction i think they've done a lot more with the sole plate in terms of sole plate is wild yeah something different and it performs great the traction is excellent um it's less expensive by fifty dollars than what the laceless Predator eighteen would have been, and uh, it's available in a wide fit as well. So unlike uh, every other laceless football boot, there is not a level of adjustability, but a, a, an option to have something a little bit wider with a little bit more volume. Should you actually mm -hmm. need it, uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's a great comparison to Speed Flow Plus. I, I think both are great, and I would. Without putting a lot of thought into it, I would I would almost go out on a limb and say those are the two best laceless football boots ever in terms of uh, uh, objective performance characteristics. Okay. I just, I can't think of, I can't think of many other laceless boots that I would actually want to play in besides Speed Flow Plus and Tequila V4. Oh, by 19 and 20 plus? I take those as well. Which were good, yeah. Those those are up there too. I think I think you could make a top three out of those. I wear mine regularly, at Between least, and they are. I just, I still find them very very enjoyable, though. But yeah, you know the the tequilas are, are up there among the best uh, laces. They're up yeah, there, absolutely. They're really. It's a really good strong the effort. The mutators were pretty pretty good as well. Um, but but you know, yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be I wouldn't uh, argue against that. Um, Daniel Gruich. Did Jay learn a new word this week? I counted at least eight times something was phenomenal. 
<laughs> I don't know. I think I'm saying, you know, I have like phases where I say certain words a lot. Um, one of our previous editors, uh, you met Alex, um, uh-huh. was, was one day he just came over to my desk and was like, Jay, I don't want you saying buttery soft for the next 10 videos. <laughs> I am sick of hearing buttery soft in every video. I was like, okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, so so we, we talk about how I have these phases with words. Obviously, I think it's because English is not my first language. So when, you know, when I get excited and really want to emphasize something, if there's a certain word that's stuck in my head, I tend to use that a lot. Might've said phenomenal a couple of times today as well. So, um, it, it's funny. I but, Buttery soft. I think I said that in one video like two years ago. And as I was saying, because I don't script my videos. So as I'm saying it, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, oh, Jay says this all the time. And sure enough, all the comments were calling me out for for using your word and copying your review because I said buttery soft. Oh, that is amazing. One time. Oh man, the internet is a fabulous, phenomenal place. Oh, it's isn't crazy. It? Yeah. Um, that's crazy. You are hereby officially allowed to use buttery soft. Um, <laughs> Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, there you go. Um, I actually said it, I don't know if you saw it in the Chamber Legend 9. It's a leap playtest. I, play I heard it. Yeah, but they are. I to be it. fair, how could you be, not say it? was it? a good time to bring back buttery soft because it was it was a, it, <laughs> it was a great it, it, time. it was really it, it was fitting. It was fitting. Let me let me put it that way. Uh, let's just see. Um, MWF. Now that all three editor silos are Fizz's emoji, do you think they would consider killing off all three and starting fresh <laughs> again like they did with the Ace X Messi? Um, I. No, I don't think they would. Uh, would no. this be a better time than it was back in the day? Probably. But I think that they have the Corpus, they have the Pret. Maybe they should rename the X, the F50 again and like reboot that a little bit, go back to, to, to 14 and just say, right, what well, worked on 14, new toolings on that, let's go. Uh, wow, that sounded like a Josh short. Da, 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 uh, da, da, let's go. Yeah, yeah I anyways. think, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know they're all like that, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, no, I, I, I think they've done. They've spent too much time and effort on relaunching Pred. I, I don't think there's really. I, I still kind of think F50 could make a comeback and just replace X. To be mm-hmm. honest with you, I don't think there's a lot of value to the X name at this yeah. point. When, when really, really the emphasis is on speed flow or speed portal, the X is just like there as a, as a space. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't it mean anything have a at this point. Name, right? Yeah. There's no X logo that's become synonymous with the shoe really. Yeah. Like I just, it's on the string bag. That's about it. Um, and Copa, it's like, <laughs> are they going to get rid of Copa? Like, I don't, I don't see like they've. They've gone in this direction where it's like they went away from their heritage and now they're all about heritage with at the very least the naming structure. So I don't think there's a lot of value to that. I just think the the boots need to get better and, and that's where they're going to dominate. For me, we talked about it at the start. I think every brand should be sending trucks of money to Holland's house and trying to get this guy to sign. I, I, I think this is that's a guy you need. I don't know if he's, has he technically re-signed with Nike? I don't think so. I think he's just wearing the boots. As far as I'm aware, he's a free agent. But I, I, I think if, if Addy in particular really needed somebody to replace a guy like Messi, I know Messi's on a lifetime contract. He's going to have definite value. But if you can get somebody like that wearing your boots, I think that's only a good thing. Yep. <laughs> Jay knows too much, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> not going to get into that. Um, so, team guys, I'm still angry New Balance made the regular 442s only partly leather after the initial golden pair with a full leather up. I won't get a pair just out of spite. Um, I understand. I really want a gold pair. I'm so, so stupid that I didn't buy the gold pair. What am I on about? Now I'm stuck with the black and the white and they're brilliant, but... Mm, mm. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, um, it ties into- Yeah, I don't know why they did that. No, it ties into Tim Cheek. Uh, how do you th- guys think the New Balance 442 V2s would do on the newer AG surface? They've conical studs, not too long, but just wonder your thoughts. I've been using mine on AGs. I plan on using them tonight, actually, just as a like, yeah. nice little comfort uh, pair. Uh, they do well. Obviously don't use FG on AG, but if you must, you know, conical studs, they're not too long. I haven't had any issues. 
Yeah, it's not it's not the worst yeah. layout. Uh, they're a little longer than I think you would want them to be, ideally. Agreed. But if it's a decent, if it's if it's a decent AG it's pitch, a, it's it shouldn't an, be too much of a problem. If it's a new 4G pitch, there shouldn't be a problem. Obviously, we can't go out and say you're safe because you. We can't technically say that you lose your warranty, all that stuff. You know that. Uh, but yeah. but but yeah. So yeah, good. As long as the pitch is buttery soft, you're good. <laughs> And I think on that bombshell, a um, <laughs> couple of 50 minutes in, I think we should call it here. Um, so yeah. welcome pack from Adidas and Puma, Nike ID, Nike by you, whatever you want to call it. Go send us your designs on the email uh, on the screen right now in the link in the description and uh, not in the link, but just in the description and in the first comment. And also uh, stay tuned as we come back with our designs. No, we're not going to design each other's boots, but we will be back with very cool boots. At least there will be one mm -hmm. very cool pair. Cause I'm going to take this one very the stock cool black and golden chrome pair. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. Comment section is where it's at. Uh, leave a like on the video if you had a good time. Make sure to subscribe to the Boot Nose podcast if you haven't done so already. There's also Josh's channel. There's the Unisport channel. Jump over to those. We make videos almost every day, actually every day at the moment. So yeah, thanks for today. And um, I'm glad United aren't playing Holland anytime soon. So uh, have a good one. I'm Jay going to approve this message. <laughs> See you later. Later. Thanks for watching. Yeah, and enjoy, those, uh, listening. enjoy those tempos, by the way. Enjoy. Yes, I enjoy. will that you will get in three hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right.